guys so i am so excited for this video because as you can tell by the title i'm actually getting ready right now to go to PetSmart and adopt a new hamster before i go and actually pick him up i thought i would set up his cage and show you guys his setup along with kind of giving you a little bit of backstory of this hamster and why i'm actually adopting him so first let's go ahead and set up the cage and then i will tell you a little bit more about him so you can see the cage is going to be going in behind me this is the critter trail super habitat you saw in my video a few months ago now Friar Tuck was in it before I upgraded him to the one he's in currently. I've had so many of you guys asking where you can get this because KT told me it was going to be in stores in May. And as far as I know, it's still not in any stores. I've seen it on one site online, but other than that, I can't find it anywhere. So unfortunately, I don't know when this cage is gonna be available. KT told me May, it's now August, and I still don't know when it's gonna be out. This definitely isn't my favorite cage, but it is going to work for now. I don't know if I'll end up upgrading him or not. This cage does look a little bit small on camera just because of the overall design and it looks like a critter trail so people are expecting it to be really tiny but it is just under 500 square inches so in the US it does meet that minimum. I decided to use this over the extra bin cage because the Carolina Storm Express wheel is actually a tiny bit too tall to fit in my bin and that's my favorite wheel and I really wanted to use it so that's why we're using this cage. So the first thing we need to do is put some bedding in here. Once again for this cage I'm using the special edition Care Fresh this is the Tutti Fruity. You guys saw this in the last video I posted when I was cleaning Mr. Fluffy Butt's cage. I do want to thank Carefresh again for sponsoring today's video. You guys know Carefresh is my favorite. Once again, if you haven't signed up for Club Carefresh, make sure you click the link down in my description and sign up for that so you can get some coupons and stuff sent to your email. But I'm going to be using this Tutti Fruity bedding because it is so adorable. It is in PetSmart stores right now. If you're interested in it, it is limited edition, so they're not gonna have it for too long. Um, but this is what I'm gonna be using today. So let's go ahead and set up the cage. Okay, so here is the cage. I went ahead and put the bedding and the wheel in along with the water bottle. I'm not sure if this is going to be his permanent cage yet it's just the best option I have the main issue I had with this cage is to fit this wheel in which is the Carolina Storm Express there is basically no bedding underneath because it is pretty short so it fits with no bedding and I have bedding piled up everywhere else but I'm sure a hamster isn't going to keep the bedding like that and he's going to end up putting the bedding everywhere and I'm gonna have to fix it all the time so I don't know how long he'll be in here but I do have about five to six inches of bedding everywhere else so now I will go ahead and just start putting everything else in I just have this little hut to put back in the corner and then I have a little terracotta tunnel. These are really good for summer because they can help keep your hamster cool. Um, so I'm gonna put one of those in there and I'm gonna bury it a little bit. And then other than that, I just have this little wooden bridge. And then the actual, the last thing already that I'm gonna be putting in is a food dish. I'm actually going to be leaving that empty. Um, and you'll notice there are no chew toys in here. So let's go ahead and talk about this hamster story. Okay, so now that the cage is set up, before I go and get him, I just wanna give you a little bit of backstory. I don't know too much about him, but I do know a little bit of important information. So how this all actually started is last week, there is a PetSmart employee in the area. He messaged me on Instagram and said that they have a special needs hamster that they need a home for. They can't sell it, it needs to go to a good home. And he wanted to know if I knew anyone who would take it. Unfortunately, I didn't know anyone right now that had the space or wanted a hamster. So I told him no and then I asked a little bit more about what was wrong with him. And after talking about him for a little bit, I figured I have the space, I can make the space, I have the time, I have the money. I'm gonna take this hamster. So I am going to be adopting him from PetSmart. I do wanna clarify that when you adopt from PetSmart, it's not the same as buying. I know a lot of people will go into a pet store and they'll see a pet and they'll feel really bad for it. So they'll say they adopted it, but they give the store money. So that is not technically adopting. That's still buying because the store is going to just get another hamster to put in there. And it's gonna be just as miserable as the first. When you adopt on the other hand, you don't actually pay the store. So it's pretty much like adopting from a shelter or anything. PetSmart's losing money on this hamster. They spent a lot to get him vet care and then they're not making anything back so it is actually adopting. So like I said I don't know a whole lot about this hamster but I do know from what it sounds like. I believe he has hydrocephalus. I'm sure I'm not saying that right and I'm sure with my list a lot of you will tell me how I should say it but basically what that is is humans can actually have it too. It's when there is water on the brain. Unfortunately it's not super uncommon in Syrian hamsters. I don't know too much about it. I'm not 
gonna lie, I've been doing a ton of research in this past week so I can get ready for it, but I have talked to some people who've dealt with it personally along with doing some research. And it does affect quite a few different areas of the hamster, but the main thing it usually affects is their teeth. A lot of hamsters who have this either won't have teeth or they'll just have little nubs for teeth because they break off constantly, or some of them they just grow really weird so you have to take them to the vet a lot to get their teeth trimmed. So I believe that the vet said this hamster does have teeth. They didn't think he did at first, but he does, and I believe they got trimmed, but they do grow really weird, so he can't eat like normal, and that is why I didn't put any food in his dish. Right now, he's actually being syringe fed. I'm going to try to see if he will eat out of a bowl. My plan is to blend up some pellets and mix it with either water or baby food, but if he doesn't eat out of a bowl when it's like that, I will syringe feed him every day, but hopefully after a while, he will start to eat out of a bowl, so that is the main reason he is a special needs hamster. He can't just eat like a normal hamster. So if someone took him home and didn't know and they would just think he wasn't eating, he could potentially starve to death. Other than that, I do know that he's had some eye issues. He actually is on some medication right now, clearing all that up. So I believe he's good to go. I think he has a couple days of medication left that I will have to administer once he's home, but then he should be good to go. Like I said, I don't know too much about him. I do know he has some special needs, so they can't sell him like they would a normal hamster. So I'm really excited to give him a good home and take care of him. Um, so now let's go to PetSmart and let's pick him up. So it looks like they do have one bag of Tutti Frutti left. I don't know how long they're gonna stock it. Um, so if you haven't picked it up yet, I would recommend going to PetSmart before they don't have it anymore. Now let's find someone to get the hamster. Okay, so I just got home from PetSmart. I didn't film that much in there just because I always feel a little bit disrespectful trying to film when I'm talking to someone. Um, but I did get a little bit of footage just of the store, but I just got home. I actually haven't even looked at him yet. He's been digging like crazy, so he's definitely ready to get out. Before I get him out, I just wanted to say thank you for the PetSmart employees. Ty actually surprised me and had a bag of stuff there for me, just like as a little gift. So thank you so much. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick what he got me. So Steve's gonna be very excited because there are two toys. So Steve is going to absolutely love those. And then there are four things, four hamsters. So first are these little loofah flowers, this little mushroom chew, these loofah fruits, and then this little woven ball. I think I've had all of these before except this little mushroom. So I'm excited to try all those. I'll probably put a couple of them in with the new hamster, even though I doubt he'll be able to chew. I wanna put one in there just in case like his teeth are growing where he can. Like I said, I don't know exactly his teeth situation at the moment, but after he settles in for a couple days and I know he's eating and everything with his syringe fine, hopefully I'll be able to take a little look in there and kind of see more of what we're dealing with. But for now, let's go ahead and put the new little guy in his cage. Okay, so I'm just going to open up this box and let him crawl out on his own. I don't like to touch him much for the first couple days just so they can really settle in. Um, it would help if I could get this box open. So I'm not going to like touch him or look at him much tonight. But I will just show you guys real quick. So here he is right here. So he is a long-haired hamster. He looks very similar to Alfredo if you guys remember him. So I'm gonna just tip this over and see if he wants to crawl on out. I'm gonna have to move, hold on, hold on little guy. There we go. So there he is. Like always, I am gonna need some name suggestions. Right now I know on his medication it says they were calling him Derp, um, but I do need some name suggestions. I am just going to say I'm filming this in August of 2018. So if you're watching this after August of 2018, I probably don't need name suggestions anymore. I'm still getting name suggestions for hamsters I had like four years ago. So if you're watching this in August, um, give me some name suggestions down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave him alone and let him settle in. If you guys wanna see an update on him pretty soon, how he's eating and everything, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time.